It's time for our cash tag segment. Let's bring in our next guest. That's going to be Megan Brantley. She's vice president of research at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Megan. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, so we're talking music. We're talking streaming. Uh, as I mentioned before we came in, uh, Spotify up about 95% so far this year. It's had a good run. Uh, I know they had a recent price increase on their subscription services, but this one, this global streamer just continues to grow. Um, are they beating their competitors at this point, Megan? What kind of data do you have? Yeah, so whenever we look at Spotify, this is certainly the largest streaming music and even, you know, audiobook and podcast player in our universe. Whenever we look at just overall web traffic, so people who are navigating to Spotify versus competitors like Apple Music, like Pandora, like Sirius XM, um, Spotify commands about 70% of that web traffic and it commands an even larger percentage of our overall mentioned volume, so that consumer mind share. And so, um, whenever we look at growth, though, I think what's impressive here is we're still seeing a sustained growth in consumer mentions for Spotify and consumer demand. So those mentions of people who are listening to or downloading Spotify and also those web visits, even though Spotify is already kind of the market share leader here when it comes to overall traffic, those visits have increased by about 6% year over year. This chart here, this is just showcasing overall consumer mentions of Spotify. And we see that rising higher by about 16% year over year. So a nice little clip and, you know, it does kind of it supports this move in the stock that we've seen to the upside. I think that, you know, we even came and talked to you guys last September when Spotify announced that it was getting into audiobooks. And we said, you know, this could be a significant spark. We've talked about, you know, their moves in AI with their DJ feature. And I think that this is serving as a significant spark to just expand Spotify's reach when it comes to streaming um, audio content. But one player I think on this chart you can see is Apple Music. We are seeing some traffic with Apple Music when it comes to just overall growth. So, you know, it's not um, free from competition. And I think Apple Music is its biggest competitor here and certainly one that we'll be watching. But just overall, this Spotify continues to be the largest player in our universe and is continuing to expand its reach, at least according to our data. Megan, the Spotify story is a master's thesis on if you think what a head start like iTunes or now what Apple Music has had on Spotify. And for Spotify to do what they've done, and I consider Spotify kind of a, a better version of the Uber story. And here's why I'm, just follow me here, because here's why I think this. Uber can't afford to pay their drivers less, and they can't charge more, mm -hmm. right? Spotify can pay the artists less and just shown that they can charge more. <laughs> so they have the right prescription to get profitable for this company where Uber may struggle. They have to do it via volume. Spotify can actually change the metrics. This recent price change that Tom mentioned, $660 million it brings to the bottom line, right with no real other change in the business. So Megan, you know, the question is, can they continue to do the right things, like raise prices, like pay the artists less, to get more and more profitable? And if that does, is that that's clearly favor, for, favorable for the stock, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that you make a great point. That's a great example. And, you know, one area that we can look to is consumer happiness to say, you know, is is this price increase even, you know, turning consumers away? And really, we don't see a big impact on consumer happiness levels. I think overall, they might be down by two points year over year, and that's nothing really significant. No no enormous spike here or not, no sustained spike. Happiness levels do, still near 70% positive and well in line with peers. And so I think that that just speaks to Spotify's pricing power. You know, the company knew that it could do this and retain these users. And it's also growing its ad-supported base. And I think that one thing that we haven't talked about is how Spotify is leveraging AI. You know, you think about this whenever we talk about its DJ. So its ability to serve up, you know, personalized song recommendations, but it's also applying this to its advertising metrics. And so it's using this to help 
target ads better to people. And so if you're an advertiser and you can better reach your consumer, um, then obviously Spotify is a no, Spotify is a no brainer to, you know, use that channel to reach your consumer. And I think that we got a good indication last quarter, we saw a reacceleration in growth in its podcasting advertising revenue. And I think that is huge. And just overall, whenever we look at people who are talking about, you know, listening to podcasts on Spotify, Spotify is still the leader here and it's still growing year over year. So that's another nice nod that, you know, not only is Spotify leveraging new technology to improve its service for users, but it's improving its service for those advertisers as well. Yeah, advertising really picking up uh, year over year, grew 12% uh, last quarter. Uh, so they're putting more ads in there. That's a bonus for them. But Megan, the one chart that you have on the 90 day moving average of year over year change in visits, Apple Music gaining yeah. some traction yeah, what's here. That all yeah, about? what's that all about, <laughs> Megan? I know this is just something I think that, you know, Apple obviously is trying to make moves. It's trying to recapture, you know, what could have been its best lead, as you pointed out, with iTunes that, you know, grow its service. But I think that the important thing here to consider is that it has a lot of room to grow in order to close that gap with Spotify. Whenever we look at just overarching web visits, Spotify dominates. It also dominates when it comes to mention volume. But they are, you know, Apple Music is gaining traction here. So this is something for, you know, investors to watch and just for us to be aware of that consumers do have other options. And so that's, you know, that's why Spotify is investing in its own platform and making it as sticky for consumers as it possibly can, especially as it increases prices so that um, no one jumps ship. So this is just something to watch and something to monitor. But based on our data and just the overall volume that we're looking at, Spotify is still the clear leader here. Yep, definitely. Uh, and then you, you look at Pandora starting to fall a little bit. Remember, there's like yeah. iHeartRadio is still out there, I think. Every, all <laughs> these companies had a head start on Spotify, and Spotify just, it just goes to show you what I was talking about earlier is if you do it right. Right. I mean, I am a Spotify, I'm addicted to yeah. Spotify. Yeah, it's got the best <laughs> algorithm. 100%. Out there. Yep. All right, great stuff. As always, Megan, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, that's Megan Brantley, uh, Vice President of Research at Likefolio, breaking down the data for us.